and start treating the cranes the same way I treat everyone else. No special favors, no special deals. You do the crime, you do the time. I don't care what your last name is. You call me crazy, but I'm not going to play the game anymore. You know what? If it costs me my job, so be it. Now, at least I'll know I lost to doing the right thing. I know the name. I know it very well. Well, then I guess we can forget all about this. So if you would just move your car, I'll be on my way. And I'll send a check to the Harmony Police Station to cover any damage to your car. That's very generous of you. But you don't have to do that. No, no, I insist. There's no reason why there should be any hard feelings between us. Suit yourself. But you have to get out of the car. I don't understand. You're under arrest, Ms. Crane. Now I need to cuff you. Right this way, please. I can do it myself. Need any help, Louise? Yeah, Pat. I keep an eye on Miss Crane. I gotta sign her in. Doing my job. I want my phone call. There is a law that allows me to call my attorney, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely, Miss. You can use the phone right on my desk. You're making a big mistake. I hope you know that. Her name is Sheridan. The kind of name you'll never forget, officer. You crossed the wrong person tonight. Thank God. Did you want a phone call? My nephew is an excellent attorney. You all right, Sheridan? I demand Miss Crane's immediate release. I'm taking her home. Sorry, the only place Miss Crane's going tonight is jail. You listen to me, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Crane. Damn right. She is a crane. You're the new police chief, aren't you? That's right, I and am. And I talked some sense into this man of yours. Chief. Yeah, O'Brien. Mayor's on the phone for you. Line two. Excuse me. Oh, I assume we can go now, Chief Bennett. If you'll take these manacles off her wrists. Not so fast, Mr. Crane. The mayor did suggest that we release Miss Crane, but I told him that would be impossible. I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Crane is going to be our guest tonight. The judge will arraign her in the morning. Luis, if you'd be so kind to show Miss Crane her accommodations. This is outrageous. I won't let you treat her this way. It's all right, Ethan. I'm not scared. You go on home. I'll be back first thing in the morning. If you need anything, just call. I'd rather die than ask you for anything. Suit yourself. <laughs> 